In this video, I am going to be showing you an incredible setup out of Bunch Tight End that is going to attack the sideline really, really well and force your opponent to have to respect the fact that you can at all times be able to attack the, the sideline, specifically the bunch side of the formation. Now, if you want to get my entire uh, Bunch Tight End Offensive ebook, you can uh, sign up for the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks and the link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description. Now, traditionally, curl flat corner has actually been one of the better plays um, for attacking the sideline. I'm going to go over that in this video as well as um, tight end corner. I'll show you something else with tight end corner. But really, the play we want to take a look at is X spot. Now, this play X spot is found in a lot of playbooks. It's in Chiefs. It's in, um, it's in run heavy, which is what we're in today. It's also in... Um, Oh, forgive me. I'm an, uh, Lions, Detroit Lions playbook. All right. So, um, again, X spot. Let's get on the field. And the main reason we call it X spot, honestly, is for this flat route that Carmichael's on and the corner route that Cromartie's on. Those two routes are really, really good because um, you can throw this quick throw flat against man coverage. If they're playing you in press man, it's a really, really good option. It gives you a quick throw um, that just, it just attacks the flat quick. Um, and so, if you want to, you want to run it like this. It's just super simple, and then you can try to break a tackle and get up field. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about curl flat corner. So, uh, so curl flat corner. If you take a look at this corner route that Cromartie is on, if I smart route this route, you're going to notice that if I put Carmichael on a corner, they look fairly similar uh, in pre snap. Okay, but I just want you to watch this corner route. Uh, I'm going to unsmart route it, and I want you to just watch this route against man. So you see here, here's that deep cur curl flat corner. And it gets pretty deep down the field, actually. It it, it, it runs uh, relatively deep. Now, let me just, for the sake of illustration, <clears throat> get the practice mode sheds out of the way. And again, we're just going straight curl flat corner. Just watch the corner route, stock route. You see here, he lights up and he cooks man. Now, something really, really important about this player on this corner route. You really want him, you really want him to have route tech if he doesn't have route tech then you need to smart route the router get it to go under 10 yards but because he has route tech he can now get over the top of this coverage you also have this quick um this quick out route this is really good specifically okay specifically for this defense where they're not pressing you in man to man this is a great play because all you need to do is streak eric berry and then on the right what i like to do um, a couple different things you can do, uh, really just a simple curl route, man. Like just simply curl, uh, the tight end if you want to do that or put the tight end on a smart routed in route and put the running back on either a block, an, uh, a wheel. This is a fine setup. Okay. Um, but basically if, watch, watch this corner route. So if they're not pressing you, this is really good because the way the game plays that can just kill man coverage. Now, also notice how deep that route gets. So one of the things that is very common that a lot of people like to do is they're going to go to a defense like this because they want to stop the sidelines, okay? Everybody wants to stop the sidelines. So if you go to curl flat corner and you've got a corner route, I'm on the 30-yard line, and against this cover two Mabel, I can throw this, and this is a 50-yard corner route across the field. So if I just jump out here, and I'll show it real quick. If they come out in like a double Mabel, and here's how you know your opponent's double Mabeling, it's really simple, uh, but you need to know this. So here's how you know that your opponent has a pretty good chance that they're double Mabeling. If they audible, and you see this pre-snap, look at the corner on the right. You see how the corner on the right is on the tight end side, even though they're not base aligned? If I audible to Mike Blitz, okay, um, typically he's going to be, I'll have to man align to show you here. Maybe. Uh, I guess I'll show you next play. But essentially, he'll be over there um, unless they audible to zone and they audible man. But the point is, typically a 30-yard cloud, they're going to be baseline. But even if they're not, even if they're not baseline and they're like this, what you'll notice is this corner route has a really good chance, you see right there, to get over the top of a 30-yard cloud. It gets over the top of a 30-yard cloud. Now, the one other quick tip um, that I have for you uh, for this is another thing that people like to do specifically if they're trying to stop and they're trying to run double Mabel coverage is they will go to a defense that basically looks like this 
and it's kind of interesting. So it looks something like this, okay? Now, this is very common. If you watch that third can't guard two players, okay? And if you curl the tight end, they have to use of the tight end. Or even if you smart run it in the tight end. So if you watch Eric Berry, this is wide side. I'm going to free form inside where that third is not available to guard. And as you can see, it has the potential to be a touchdown. The best way for the defense to counter that, okay, um, would be to do something like this. The problem with this is we gave you a play yesterday that beats this coverage to the right side of the screen. Um, and there's even more There's even more plays in this. If we go to – this is why tight end corner. Um, we talked about this yesterday, but tight end corner will beat this. You know, even the tight end on the corner, if you have the running back on the street, that will beat that coverage. So it's they're going to have to choose what they're going to want to do. Okay, but the point is – um, the other thing I did want to quickly point out is these outside thirds. So if they have an outside third, if they're wanting to run outside thirds on both sides, so like this, like a cover three cloud style coverage with a backed off 30 yard cloud. The problem is I, if I'm, if my bunch is to the wide side, I can't throw that. Like I can throw that, but it's a really tight throw. However, if the ball is on the short side of the field, you can then attack. Um, you can then attack. So you go something like. So here's the same defense. But now the other thing is you don't have as much room, uh, which we'll get to. You don't have as much room for this corner route to run. Free form up and look, the 30 yard cloud plays it. So you're still kind of in the same boat. It's just to the wide side of the field if you have if you know and this is why it's really important it is really extremely important to know if they are mabling or not and the best way to know really is i mean typically they're mabling if that corner is backed off so you see how that corner is not pressed there's no press that typically means they're mabling another thing would be something like this if they're base aligned and the corners are way off that typically means they're mabling okay if they're in a coverage like that the best way to attack this defense because you're not going to get jammed and rerouted and all that stuff. All you have to do is just motion this guy out. So this simple motion out now gives me the ability to attack double maple. As you see right there, it gets over the top of the cloud. Okay. So that's how you attack double maple. Um, but really, and this is where X spot comes in. So if I'm short side and they're giving me a lot of double maple stuff, this is where this can be really, really valuable, okay? Because when we go to X spot, it allows us another route combo because that flat gets out there super quick. So uh, I'm already in X spot, I believe. Am I in my X spot? I have to go get it. So um, if, if, if they're... If they're coming out and they're mabling a lot, like if that's pretty common, that's what you're seeing them do, okay? What you got to understand is you want to start to utilize this X spot setup because what it does is it really, it, it messes with the user has to make a decision of who he's going to guard. And typically the, if they're smart, they'll play it like this. Um, but essentially what you're able to do is you put your tight end on an in route and you can either put your running back on a streak or put him on an angle route. And then you have a streak on a left. This right here is so good because that tight end is going to – the user draws. It draws the user, and then the running back's open. Now, if you don't like that spacing, if you don't like that spacing and you think it's too easy to user, um, you can go with an alternative setup, which is basically this. And I'll show you what it looks like. Essentially, we're going to drag the tight end so he gets across a little quicker. And then you can throw that in that pocket because the user runs with the tight end. If the user doesn't run with the tight end, so let's say, for example, that the user plays a little bit more like a traditional mid-read, and they're still running these, uh, they're still running something like this. If the user stays in the middle, then you're able to hit the tight end right here because the vertical still has to climb and take away the early piece of that corner out. So this is hard to defend. It's a really hard route combo to defend, and it pushes 
everything to the bunch side. It pushes everything to the bunch side, and we're gonna show you a setup tomorrow that pushes everything to the tight end side. And that's the beauty of offense, when you can really take your receivers and use them to attack the defense where they are weak. So thanks for watching the video today, and if you wanna get my entire um, bunch tight end offensive ebook or any of my ebooks, join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. The link is down in the description.